Hey guys, God bless you guys in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, my uncle passed. And I mean, I we shared the gospel with him, so I'm hoping that he's in God's kingdom. You know, like I I usually get teary eyed when I when people in my family die, so when somebody else dies, but yeah. Um But um yeah. Guys, um Yeah, you know, like I've been going through a lot lately, you know, like my uncle passed. You know there's just a lot of stuff that went on with me. So, you know, I'm asking each of one of you guys to keep me in your prayers, keep my family in prayers as we go through a difficult time. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Yes. God bless you. God bless you guys. Um, Yeah. Um, yeah, as I was saying, guys, you know, my uncle died, and, um, we never had, a, like, a, like, we did got along, but, like, we were very distant, you know, like, you know, somewhere in Matthew chapter 10, I told my mom one time that, um, I mean, my uncle did believe in the gospel, he believed in the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, but, um, yes. Yes, um, we preached to him the gospel right now. I'm hoping he's in heaven. But, like, you know, there's just a lot of stuff going on, you know, like, it's just sad, you know, I mean, when that family member does, I mean, I'm pretty sure my uncle was saved, so, yeah. It's just hard for me. I don't have any words to say, guys. I just want you guys to pray for my family as we're going through a rough time. Same on YouTube, you know, for you guys who subscribe to my channel please keep us in your prayers keep us in your prayers and um yeah you know i know my uncle got healed uh uh physically you know i mean spiritually i know because like let me tell you guys something small when i laid my hands on him I heard he didn't have no more coronavirus. Like, supposedly he didn't have no more COVID. But, um, they moved him from an ICU. And he got disconnected this evening, you know. But, you know, maybe it was the Lord's will, you know, for him to go home, you know. I guess it was just his time, you know. I mean, I feel like when someone dies, sometimes, like, I don't, I know it's wrong for me to ask that, but sometimes, like, Lord, why could it be me? Like, I'm tired of this world, Lord, but, no, it's not my time yet. It's not my time yet to leave, guys. It's not my time yet. So, I just gotta hang in here. I just gotta hang in here. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff that's been going on with me lately. I haven't been in the best mood, you know. So, yeah, guys. I actually knew that this year was going to be worse for us, you know. I, I knew 2020 was going to be worse, you know what I mean. Yeah, brother. It was his time for him to go, bro. Like, you know, we couldn't do nothing much, you know. It was God's decision, you know. I mean, there are times I'm like, Lord, why couldn't it be me? Like, I want to go with you already. Like, I'm just tired of being stuck in this flesh, yo. But I guess I just have to, you know. Become stronger, you know. Yeah, it's hard to hear that. Those who lost loved ones, sorry to hear that, guys. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that.
and also um how is the hospitals in your state maybe i know in florida and texas i mean here they're not like letting people in like i don't know if that's gonna come like to heal the sick people i mean but it's not me it's got through me of course like um i just have a passion of asking the sick people if they want to get right with the lord jesus christ like you know, lay hands on the sick and they'll be healed, you know, like, I, I get very excited of that. But, um, yes, guys, you know, I want you guys to keep me in your prayers, keep my family in prayers, and uh, may God bless you guys. I might stay silent for a while, though, or posting a little bit, but yes, God bless.